What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Street Fighter Duel video. All right guys, we are back at the free to play session and I promised you in my last video, which was the update patch note video, that I'm going to be doing a lot more of the inverse world. So that's what we're going to cover today. But real quick before I go anywhere with this, as usual, first purchases have been completely at zero. So you can see here day one is still there. And then if we go to the mercenaries, what I always do, no mercenaries are being used. It's just me, myself, my lonesome, and my team. So off to inverse world. Now I'm going to quickly preface this video right away and say that I cannot show you guys the buffs that, well, I may show you the buffs that I'm using, but it's going to freeze the game. It's been doing it. I've been trying to do this video three times now, and every time I get to the debuff section, it completely freezes. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the debuffs. The game's going to freeze most likely, and I can't get out of it. So I'll come, I'll log back in, and we'll continue the video from there, okay? So as you can see here, I got 32 points on Arctic Lake. I actually went back and had to redo it because I had 31 before. was not aware that I need 32. In order to unlock Blazing Trial, you need 32 from here and 16 from here only. So I went ahead and set up the buffs to get 32. So I'm going to show you guys what buffs you need, and then I'm going to do the actual fights for you guys. Now, I've cleared up the whole map except for two fights, okay? And these are the last two here that are remaining. I'll show you who they are. It's going to be Zangief. Uh, Chun Li, Poison, and Guy, and then the last fight is going to be E Honda. We love our E Hondas. Uh, Mad Ryu, Adon, and DiCaprio. So I'm going to show you guys the usual tricks here on how to get through this. Now let's talk about the debuffs again. The game will most likely freeze, and I apologize for that. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Right here, the challenge. Okay, I can't choose them because if I do, I I, I get locked out. Can I get out? See if I do that, that's okay. So I'm gonna. Read it from my phone. I logged into my other account on my phone. So I'm going to read it to you what these are, okay? So the first one you want to choose is recommended challenge. Only one EX move can be used per match. So choose one for that. Not two because then it's zero EX moves. You want the Sakura heal to be your EX move that you choose, okay? So choose that one. Number two, when a friendly fighter is knocked out, 100% of max HP is restored to enemy fighters. That's this heart over here. Definitely choose that, okay? Number three, Choose the five points of all teams freeze for 10 seconds at the start of the battle. They will unfreeze early if dealt damage equals to 20% of max HP. I'll show you guys how to bypass that problem, okay? It's real simple, so please choose that, okay? Next one up is going to be the last one here, which is the first time a friendly fighter unleashes a combo 3, the enemy gains a non-dispellable shield equal to 30% of their max HP for 20 seconds. Do that twice, it pushes them to 50%, okay? So those are going to be your main four there. That's what you want to choose there, okay? Now, on the standard challenge... You go ahead and choose enemy win factions, fighters gain 30% dodge. That's the, the wings right there with the shield. You will go ahead and choose enemy thunder faction, receive 50% parry. You'll choose uh, enemy faction, enemy flame faction, fighters uh, gain crit by 30%. You give them the battery as well. Okay. And then you actually, matter of fact, I think you choose, yeah, you literally choose everything here. Choose it all. All goes. Okay. So no problem there. Now on the other side, you want to go uh, one, two, three, four. Let me just see if it's everything, everything's chosen here as well. Yeah, everything's chosen. So on the next two screens, choose everything, okay? So now you guys know what exactly you need to choose to get the 32 points. So as you can see on my screen, I'm exactly at 32, all right? That's what you're going to do for debuffs to get through this. Now, for the battles themselves, you're going to face a few tougher battles. There's going to be a little bit of RNG involved. And remember to reset the fight and exit, okay? Now I'm going to explain to you guys how to bypass this whole freeze mechanic um, fairly easily. Now my team has not changed. If you watch any of my Inverse World videos, you guys know I'm still running the same team throughout. Now, this team is going to be the harder of the two. So I'm going to go ahead and do this team instead. Uh, you know what? Actually, they're, pro they're both pretty annoying. Let's go here. So this is my setup. You can see my health here. Not doing the greatest, but it's okay. Elena, Elena is your best friend in this, okay? Because you actually do want heals in this. Street Poison isn't going to really make or break this because timeouts are a good thing because you get to restart the battle with the same amount of super combo and the the opponent lose all of their buffs okay so it's a great way to actually survive so elena's great the only ex move you want on this one is going to be sakura's heal and you still want a manual okay guys now there's a trick to this right to avoid getting hit or getting uh bogged down by the freeze so what you do is come in with bison bison's going to get hit here you're going to start the combo with him by the time it's ready you're going to have bizang out of out of the sorry out of the freeze i kind of messed up there sorry i shouldn't have done that um, you'll have Bizang ready to be out of the freeze. You wait till this combo goes right to the lowest, and then you can go ahead and activate it, okay? And that will prompt the freeze to be gone by the time your whole combo's ready. So you won't have to worry about getting frozen the entire time, okay? Just an easy mechanic to avoid. Start with Bison. 
heal with Elena because she doesn't get affected by it because she's in tag, right? So you can see there, pretty much all done. Now a little bit low health for Viper that I would have I would have wanted some more health for that, but nonetheless, fairly easy. And I'm going for times two, guys. I know there's some complaints here of me going times four all the time. Just slow it down on YouTube, please. Make my life easy. Okay, I'm a dad of two. I got no time on my hands to be slowing down, but I will for this one just for the sake of doing it. Now, this is going to be a tough one. This is why I saved this one for last. The, ca the Capri is going to try to execute my Viper as much as possible, so she's going to be dying a little more often, okay? That was actually weird that she got out of it first. Though. I wonder why that happened. Not even sure why that would have happened. Oh, see? Got through Vice in there. That's a little bit of a problem uh, when... He does a scissor kick. Sometimes the Hadouken will go past him too. So just got to watch that timing here. So we're going to wait a little bit here this time. We'll go ahead and start now. He should he should have eaten it that time. I don't know why she's going first, to be honest. It's kind of weird. But that's okay. We're going to put... We, that's kind of the order we wanted it anyways. Okay, we're going to start. Oh, come on. All right, guys. So let's get this done. Now, what you want to do again is use Bison. From the start, scissor kick, make sure he takes the Hadouken to the face. Okay, that's the most important part. And then Psycho Crusher, the, the, this one. Okay, don't do don't do uh don't do Viper's move because if Viper gets hit with uh with the Shryuken, you're gonna lose her. Okay. Ah, see, my B Zang ate it instead. So bison blowing up there causes that to happen. Alright, so let's do this again. Okay, I'm gonna hold off a little bit on the heel here. Here, we're gonna do it now. For some reason, B Zhang is not getting hit at all, which is interesting. That never happens. Back up a bit. Oh, that's stunned. Okay, so now we only have Honda left. There you go. You guys saw what just happened there? Pretty much just use Viper's mass amount of uh, DPS to take out what I needed to do here, and that is take out uh, Ryu quickly. Getting Ryu out of the way is going to cause your fight to be a lot easier. Well, there you have it. So, not, I mean, we had a couple a couple tries that were bad, but overall, I got it done. So, there you go, 420, 600, 200, and 315, so, sorry, 600, sorry, 60. So, 420, <laughs> 420, uh, 60, 200, and 315, and that actually completes your next Shadow Labyrinth which should now open up this one on that part. Now you got to do 16 points here. I'll do this one next. Uh, we'll do a video on it, and then we'll complete these guys, and then we're done. All right, Shadow Labyrinth is over. It has free to play, and we can now say we dominated without spending any money. All right, guys, this is Payne. I'll talk to you guys on the next one.